Good morning everyone. Welcome to ITN English News. I'm Sandil Malikarachi. Let's move on to headlines. Program to provide essential commodities at concessionary rate to low income earners. Corona death rises to 490. Hem City Fernando and Pooji Jayasundara granted bail. Agitation side declared in Colombo. And in overseas, Trump acquitted by Senate in impeachment trial. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha stated in Parliament that the program to provide essential commodities at a concessionary rate to low-income earners will commence on the first of next month. Prime Minister Mahindra Raj Paksha affirmed that the daily wage of 1,000 rupees for state workers of the plantation sector will come into effect from 1st of next month. Meanwhile, pages of the forensic audit report that had not been presented to the parliament were tabled today. The Speaker requested all members of the Parliament to be vigilant as some of them contain private and confidential information. The Speaker also announced COP and COPA members, meanwhile Samar Ratnapriya was sworn in as a parliamentarian. President Gotabe Rajapaksha approved the release of five more prisoners in line with the 72nd International National Independence Day. The released are the members of security forces and had been imprisoned for minor offences. Accordingly, 517 prisoners have been pardoned parallel to the Independence Day. Meanwhile, Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Ground Forces, Army General Oleg Salyukov, called on President Gotabe Rajapaksha at the Presidential Secretariat. He arrived in Sri Lanka as a special guest at the 72nd National Independence Day celebrations. Oleg Selyukov also visited the Rock House Camp Modera of Sri Lanka Army. Former Defence Secretary Hemasiri Fernando and IGB Pooji Jayasundara have been granted bail. They had been remanded on accusation of negligence of intelligence information to avert the Easter Sunday terror attacks. Upon reviewing their revision petitions, the Deputy Solicitor General stated that the Attorney General Department does not oppose to bail. Meanwhile, a suspect who had close links with the leader of the National Tawheed Jamaat, Mohammed Saharan, who committed suicide bombs at the Shangri-La Hotel on Easter Sunday, was further remanded until 29th. With a we were popularizing digital payment schemes. The Central Bank of Sri Lanka has named the year 2020 as Digital Transaction Year. The main objective of this Ilangwa. initiative is to as the digital transactions already introduced to the country by Central Bank, other financial institutions and Lanka Clear Private Limited. The initiative will teach and enable to make all the daily payments, especially utility bills such as electricity, water bills, telephone bills, insurance premiums and all other payments as well as transfer between accounts from wherever you are. The central bank emphasizes that in order to achieve these objectives, they need the support of the government as well as the support of the general public. Deaths from a coronavirus rose to 490 in mainland China, while new cases on a Japanese cruise ship in Hong Kong and in Thailand showed the increasing speed of the outbreak and renewed attention toward containing it. Ten people from the Japanese cruise ship tested positive and were taken to hospitals, while 3,700 crew and passengers on the ship will be quarantined on board for up to 14 days. In Hong Kong, hospital workers are striking to demand the border with mainland China to be shut completely to ward off the virus. Meanwhile, Sri Lankan Airlines has decided to reduce the number of flights between China and Sri Lanka until March 28th. Minister Mahinda Amaravira says that the government should not postpone implementation of development projects in fear of coronavirus. The army states that a quarantine center at the Diyatalava army camp has been provided with all necessary facilities and health care. That is the end of ITN English News. Thank you very much for joining with us. I'm Sandil Malikarachi.